All right, so we've examined this limit before. I would now like to show you the geometry of what's going on. So here we have the unit circle, radius 1. And then let's say we have some really, really small angle. So here's our really small angle. You know, it could be even, it's actually, we're going to even make it smaller than that. And even smaller than what you see here. But just for illustrative, pur illustrative purposes, that's our angle. You can tell it's really, really tiny slice there. And what I want to do is, I, since you know it's too hard to see what's going on uh, from from just looking at it like this, what I want to do is zoom in into just this area right here. Just zoom in on this and take a look at what at what's happening. So that's what's going to be in in the next frame. That's this right here. So we're zoomed in really, really close on the circle, and and now. You know, this is our what's happening when we when we look at that edge of the circle. So, so this is the radius. This is the radius. This is really where the x-axis is. This is the radius of our, uh, or this is another radius, but it's just the this is you know the angle that we drew. This is the intercepted arc here. And so now what we have is we have we could form a triangle. It's easier to see that all the way zoomed in. And let's see, so this is a unit circle, so this length here is a radius of 1. And because we know that the cosine, cosine of x is equal to adjacent over, hy over hypotenuse, and in this case the hypotenuse is just 1, right? The hypotenuse is the radius, which is 1, unit circle, so the cos of x is just equal to the adjacent side of that triangle. So that means that this whole side here, because this is the whole triangle, is just equal to cos of x. So the cosine of our angle. So this is equal to the cosine of x. But because this whole length all the way out to the circle is 1, then we know what's left over is just this length here is 1 minus cos x. Let me actually write it over here. So that length is 1 minus cos x. Because the whole thing is 1 and, and, what, and we already took up all of cos x, so what's left is just 1 minus cos x. Okay, and also we know that this arc, this intercepted arc, is equal to x. How do we know that? Well, because arc length, s for arc length, is equal to r times the angle. Our radius is just 1. So the arc length is actually equal to x. So this arc that we've intercepted is equal to x. Well, I shouldn't have redrawn it. You, you, see, you can see the arc. So now when we look at what happens, the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cos x over x. Well, let me color code that. Maybe it's, it'll be easier to see. So 1 minus cos x divided by x. Well, this x is approaching 0. You, the, we're, this angle is so small, we had to zoom in super, super far just to see this. And in fact, we could make it, make it even smaller. And what happens is that this distance, 1 minus cosine of x, shrinks much faster than x shrinks. And you, you can see that from, this, uh, from the geometry of this situation. 1 minus cos x for this super small angle is a lot smaller than this arc length here, this arc length x. So what happens is, is as we take this limit, because 1 minus cos x is shrinking so much faster, it essentially it becomes 0 over a, a number, more or less. The, the ratio of, of, of the rate at which cos x um, shrinks compared to x, this becomes basically 0 over a number, which is just 0. That's one way to kind of interpret this situation. So if you're, if you're like me and you, you're interested in, in, in the geometry of certain situations, then hopefully this was interesting for you. Uh, not at all necessary, but... It, it's it's definitely interesting to look at. We can actually represent this limit in terms of lengths, and then the ratio at, at how fast those those lengths shrink when we take this limit.
Okay, see you in the next video.